Hi, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of Cool Tricks and Hot Tips for Adobe Premiere Elements 14. This is one of 50 special effects we show you how to do in the book using some of the basic tools in Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. This particular special effect is one of the most requested. It's a very cool effect and we're going to show you how to enhance it a little bit and make it even cooler. What we want to do is create the illusion of a red line being drawn from Madrid, Spain to Cairo, Egypt. In other words, we're following the path of travel through the Mediterranean. To do that, we need two things. One is a graphic, a map of the area. The other is the same map with a red line drawn over it. These graphics have, by the way, if you look at the size, are 1100 by 620 pixels. That's a little bit larger in the video frame. I'm working in a standard definition video frame 720 by 480 so I've got a little bit of room to work and that allows me to do some animation so it's just a little bit bigger than a video frame. Also uh, here in Premiere Elements I have ported them into Premiere Elements. There they are in my project assets but before I did I went to my preferences and on the general page I unchecked default scale to frame size. If that's checked your pictures will be automatically artificially squeeze down to the size of your video frame. We don't want that. We want to be able to do some animation, so make sure that's unchecked before you bring your graphics or your pictures into the program. I'm going to take the graphic or the photo that shows the red line on the map, and I'm going to drag it down to video track one. And I'm also going to extend it so that it's about eight seconds long. There we go. You notice how much bigger that map is than the video frame. So we've got a lot going on outside of here. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to go to our project assets. We're going to take the map without the line and drag it down to video track two directly above it. And I'm going to extend it so that it's the same length. Now we're going to animate the map. In order to do that, I'm going to select the clip on video track two, go to applied effects, open up motion, turn on the keyframe controller, Make sure the playhead is at the beginning, and I'm going to set the scale to about 70%. That's a little bit small. You can see the edge of the map shows here. So I'm just going to scrub across here until it fills up the frame. There we go, about 78%. And I'm going to drag the map over in the video frame so we can see our starting point, which is Spain. Then I'm going to toggle on animation, which creates our initial keyframed point or keyframed animation will begin with this view of the Mediterranean. I'll move the uh, playhead here to the end of the timeline and I'm going to increase the size to about 90 percent and I'm also going to drag this over so we can see our end point which is Cairo Egypt. I want to make sure that I don't show the edge of the map here but way over to Cairo Egypt. So that's the direction of our animation and if we scrub through here we can see it begins in Spain we zoom in a little bit and we end in Cairo. Now that we've done that, uh, we want to apply exactly that same animation to the clip that's on video track one. The easiest way to do that, just right click on the clip on video track two, select copy, and then select the clip on video track one, right click, and select paste effects and adjustments. That's going to paste everything, including if we look here at video track one's motion, we see that even the keyframing that we added to video track two has been added to video track one. Exactly the same animation. We show you how to do this in the book. Don't worry about it. Now, in order to make this effect work, we are going to apply an animated crop. So I'm going to go to my effects panel here on the action bar. And in the search box, I'm going to type crop. There we go. It's in the transform category. I'm going to drag it onto the clip on video track two. You can see there's a little bit of cropping already applied to it. I'm just going to slide all those sliders down to zero because we don't want any cropping at this point. And I'll open up the uh, control panel here for keyframes. We're going to create a simple animation where the map on video track one is revealed through cropping a little bit at a time so that it appears that what we're seeing is a red line being drawn. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to just go over here to the left slider on my crop. And you notice if I slide it over, it looks like a line is being drawn on the map, doesn't it? What I'm actually doing is I'm going to temporarily uh, disable the video here on track one so you can see. What I'm actually doing is I'm cropping the graphic there on video track two. And as I do, it's revealing, we'll re-enable it here, right click, choop. it's revealing video track one and making it appear that the line is being drawn because the only difference between the uh, 
graphic that's on video track one and video track two is that red line. So it seems to be drawing a red line across our graphic. Now we're going to animate this and we also kind of want to sync it with the other animation that's going on. And that is the motion path animation that's going on over the map. So let's see if we can make it work. I'm going to slide this left slider until just the very beginning of that red line is being drawn there in Madrid. There we go. That's going to be the beginning of my animation. So let's toggle on animation. We'll move the playhead here to the end. And fortunately, my particular animation is just left to right. So my line goes from left to right. It should be a pretty simple animation for me. If you've got a lot of up and down and turns and things, you'll have to animate a couple of side crops at the same time. I only need to manipulate here the left one. And I'm going to drag this over, seeing my line to right here. This is my end point where I've just revealed the end of the line here at Cairo. Let's see how it looks with those two animations applied together. Let's close this up. And let's take a look at that. That is pretty cool, huh? The map is moving and the red line is moving across the map. Very nice. You know how we could make this even cooler? i show you how to do this. It's one of the tricks in the book too. If you take a graphic of a plane, a jet here, I'm just going to drag it down onto video track three and extend it also so that it's the length of the uh, timeline or the length of my movie. And I'm going to just resize it so it's much smaller. And I can put that at the beginning of this red line and kind of rotate it a little so that it follows the red line. I can actually select it, go into applied effects for motion. And here too, I could toggle on the animation and we could have this jet follow that red line just by dragging it and creating keyframes in synchronization with that red line and even keyframe its rotation so that it will follow the red line. I even show you how to add a drop shadow underneath the plane to add yet another layer of coolness to this effect. So if you want to know more about this effect and the 49 others, <laughs> be sure to check out the book, Cool Tricks and Hot Tips for Adobe Premiere Elements 14. That's available at Amazon.com and of course right at the Movie Pick store. We've also got many, many cool tips and tutorials here at Movie Picks. I hope to see you again soon. My name's Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me.